All right, there. Check it out. Here's how your trees look in the engine. Um, just playing around with the, ma the leaf materials, changing between the leaves here. This is one really good looking tree. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Um, yeah, just looks really good. Let's try a different one. So I think it is totally fine performance-wise. I mean, um, it's, it's nothing crazy. Um, I'll show you in a second here. I can actually pull up a little performance graph and see the... Uh, this one texture might be a little stretched there, but it, whatever. <laughs> um, that and like um, maybe on the top, there's some some of the textures end up looking like they're floating above the tree, but um, you wouldn't really be able to even see that if you were on the ground like this. Um, looks dang good. I like it, dude. <laughs> so here, if I can get this working, is. <clears throat> show you the uh, kind of performance stats. It just shows kind of from green to red um, for every area of the screen how many draw calls it's having to run. Um, and so sometimes when you have many overlapping layers of transparency it has a hard time. You can see right in the middle of each little cluster of leaves is its overlapping many layers of, of transparency, but it's, it's still not a big deal. It, it runs fine, so I like it. I like it a lot. Just for fun, <clears throat> here's just what it looks like with flat shading, um, the quickest of all, quick put together. Um, you can see that when you're not running any layers of transparency, it's it's nothing. It doesn't even stand out from the background. Um, and the sort of low poly flat shaded looks not actually that bad, I don't think, so cool regardless.